1 Kings chapter 9 After Solomon completed the construction of the house of the Lord, the king's palace, and all that he desired and pleased to do, the Lord appeared to Solomon a second time, just as he had appeared to him at Gibeon. The Lord spoke to Solomon, saying, I have heard your prayer and supplication that you have made before me. I have consecrated this house that you have built to put my name there forever, and my eyes and my heart will be there perpetually. If you walk before me as your father David walked, with integrity of heart and uprightness, obeying all I have commanded you and keeping my statutes and judgments, then I will establish your royal throne over Israel forever, as I promised your father David, saying, You shall not fail to have a man on the throne of Israel. But if you or your descendants turn away from following me, do not keep my commandments and statutes that I have set before you, and go and serve other gods and worship them. Then I will cut off Israel from the land I have given them. I will reject the house I have consecrated for my name, and Israel will become a proverb and a byword among all peoples. This magnificent house will become a heap of ruins. Passers-by will be astonished and hiss, asking, why has the Lord done this to this land and to this house? And the answer will be, because they abandoned the Lord their God, who brought their fathers out of the land of Egypt, and embraced other gods, worshipping and serving them. That is why the Lord has brought all this disaster upon them. At the end of twenty years, during which Solomon built the house of the Lord and his own palace, King Hiram of Tyre provided Solomon with cedar and cypress timber, and gold according to his desire. In return, Solomon gave Hiram twenty cities in the region of Galilee. Hiram went to see the cities, but he was not pleased with them. He called them the land of Kabul, as they are known to this day. Hiram sent Solomon one hundred and twenty talents of gold. This is the account of the forced labor that King Solomon imposed to build the house of the Lord, his own palace, the supporting terraces in the city, the wall of Jerusalem, Hazer, Megiddo, and Gezer. Pharaoh king of Egypt had attacked and captured Gezer, burning it and killing the Canaanites living in the city. He then gave it to his daughter, Solomon's wife, as a dowry. Solomon rebuilt Gezer, lower Beth Horon. Balath, Tadmor in the desert within his land. All the storage cities that belonged to him, cities for his chariots, cities for his cavalry, and whatever he desired to build in Jerusalem, Lebanon, and throughout his entire kingdom. But Solomon did not conscript any of the Israelites for forced labor. They were his soldiers, his officials, commanders of his chariots, and his cavalry officers. There were five hundred and fifty chiefs who supervised the work. Pharaoh's daughter moved from the city of David to the palace Solomon had built for her. Then Solomon built the terraces. Solomon offered burnt offerings and peace offerings on the altar he had built for the Lord, burning incense before the Lord. Thus, he completed the house. King Solomon also built a fleet of ships at Ezi and Geber, which is near Eloth on the shore of the Red Sea, in the land of Edom. King Hiram sent his servants with the fleet, experienced seamen along with Solomon's servants. They went to Ophir and acquired gold, four hundred and twenty talents, which they brought to King Solomon.